fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Monday the 19th of December 2022. I hope you are keeping very well. It is cold here in Bangkok. When I say cold, I mean it's dipped down to 19 degrees. Anything below 20 is like, oh my god, we've got, it's a real shock. It doesn't normally happen here in, in Bangkok. So we're rather shocked this morning at, at such a cold turn of events. Um, the uh, fortunate thing is it means we can save money on our air conditioning and uh, save the planet a little bit, I guess, on air conditioning. <laughs> uh, just a tiny, tiny bit. Uh, normally uh, on a Monday, it's the beginner's day. I'm guessing today is no exception. The only thing is that I don't have much time because I didn't want to get out of bed. It being too cold. <laughs> I was huddled up there. And now I just realized I've got to start work early today. And it is... Uh, I don't have much time to play this, so um, I'm going to very quickly explain the rules of Sudoku. I apologize if you are a beginner and never played Sudoku before. Uh, there are plenty of other games that you will be able to see at the end of this. Uh, you click on the link that goes to the easy and beginner games, lots of um, beginner games with more explanation than today, I guess. Okay, we have every row across which contains nine squares, and we have every column down containing nine squares. You'll see some columns have numbers already and some rows already have numbers filled in but we have a lot of empty squares we place numbers between one and nine in each row and column and every one of these small three by three grids that you can see oops if i can oh i can't control my mouse this morning excuse me uh there we go three by three grid all of them we need numbers one to nine of course since there are only nine squares the numbers cannot repeat right Okay, how do we go about finding the numbers? Let's start like this. We have one blocking down this column and blocking down this column here. What does it mean? It means in this block here, there is one square which is not affected by this one, which stops anything else in this column from being one, and this one, which stops anything else from this column being one. We know that the one must be in that square there. Uh, now, if you find something like that, if you, if you can see where it, there is only one square left, we know that it must go there. Let's do something with these nines blocking across like this and that gives us a 9 in this particular square here. Got the idea? Okay, well done. Now let's take this one that we filled in before and bring it across here, and now we can say we've got a 1 in that square there. I hope this is... I know this might seem a bit fast if you've never played Sudoku before, but you can slow it down. Put me on slow motion. Or... <laughs> or <laughs> actually, we don't need to do that anymore. With digital technology, you can actually keep the, the pitch the same, right? Um eight blocks down here so eight goes here or you can rewind of course and play the video again in fact that would help me out give me more views on youtube uh right so like i say i do apologize if it's rather fast but i need need to get today's game out and ex show you the actual solution and of course you must try that try it yourself once you've got the basic idea okay we've got five uh didn't need, didn't need that one sorry yes we did five blocking across here like this and five blocking ooh, in a straight line excuse me I, my mouse is not doing what i want it to do today fives a five must appear in that square there um what else have we got there must be loads of stuff around okay let's just try clicking on the numbers and save a bit of time if i go through uh, one by one that will help me find stuff uh, slightly quicker i guess uh, okay i've seen something i've seen two and five blocking across here so what does it mean it means that these three squares for this block here what is missing we have one we have three four seven eight nine what we don't have is two five and six that's what's lacking for this particular block and when we look at this square here we say can it be two and the answer is no because we've got a two in this row here can it be five no it can't be five because we have the same row being blocked so it has to be six because there were only three alternatives two five or six and now we know that these two squares contain two or five only got got it okay good uh what was i doing i can't remember let's see two threes uh, just looking very quickly to find stuff like oh not like that okay so let's take this look over here now what do you see in this block here now you can see we 
we have two possibilities where 5 could go. We can't say that it's in this square or this square, but we know it's in one of these two squares only because of this 5 blocking across it and this 5 blocking here. So even though we can't place this 5, it is useful to us because it means that 5 is now blocked from the rest of this column because it has to appear either here or here. So this square down here definitely can't be 5 after all. So we know that the 5 must be there and the 2 must be there. I hope that was okay for you. Um, oh, it is chilly here. Amazing. It's so weird to be cool in Bangkok. I don't mean cool as in a you know, like hip type of thing, of course. I mean actually not warm. <laughs> it's weird. Um, and of course, to those of you who live in countries with uh, freezing temperatures, I do appreciate. I remember what that feels like, and I don't want to feel it again. I really, I really don't. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. Right, let's see. Uh, let's get on with uh, going through the numbers again. I'll start again because I've forgotten where I am. Just looking for something simple. Which I think is going to appear like this four up, four down, four across here. That is a four we can place. Okay, five blocking across here and five down here. So here is our five now. We have 8 blocking up here, 8 blocking down here, and 8 across here. So that's going to give us an 8 in that square there. Then 8 across here, and across here, and up here. That gives us an 8 in that square there. 8 blocking like this, and down here. That gives us an 8 in this square. Now there's only one empty square in this row, so we should look here and find out what that is. Uh, and when we look, we find the missing number is, in fact, 3. And that will complete the row. So we now have that row finished. Uh, what was I doing? Eights. Any more eights? Yes, there are. Eight blocking up here and up here and eight across here like this. So here's our eight. And then eight across here and up these two columns like that puts an eight into that square. And that is the final eight. We now have an eight in each of these small grids. And so there are no more eights to get. Okay, now we have three blocking up here like this, so that puts a three into that square. And now we have the three blocking across here and three up here, that puts three into that square there. Three blocking up here and up here puts a three into that square. And now there's just one number missing for this column, which is four, so we'll place that. Now we have four blocking up here and four across here, so here goes the four. Oh, sorry, going back the wrong way there. Uh, can we get fives? No, we can't. Sixes. Uh, actually, let's just, I, I can get this, this square here, right? Let's stop doing that. So all I can, first of all, I just need to work out the two missing numbers here, and then this will be the one that finishes off the block, right? So what's missing from here? In this, co in this column here, we don't yet have uh, six and seven. So six and seven must be in these two squares here. Can't be anything else. Now, knowing that these two squares contain 6 and 7, even though we can't place them, we know that this has to be a 9 because that will complete the block, won't it? And now 9 blocking up here and up here and across here puts a 9 into that square there. Now, there's only one digit left for this uh, column here, which I think is a 3. Okay, and um, what's left? 
seven blocks up here so that puts a seven into that square two blocks across here putting a two into that square and the last number to get here is a six uh, what's missing from here two and six so we've got six blocking across here here's the six and there goes the two to finish that block there <coughs> There are two empty squares here. I'm going to see what they are. I don't know, but let's investigate. What we don't yet have is two, and we don't yet have seven. Well, seven blocks this square, so that has to be our seven, and this row will be finished with a two. And we can say two blocks across here, so that will be the two, and one finishes off that block there. As I say, if it's too fast, just go back. Um, don't worry. You'll, uh, you can see it again as many times as you want really we've got seven blocking across here that puts a seven into that square and six will finish that particular small block there right little bits to go now um, we just got to see what goes in these uh, rows across don't we um, but the maybe the easiest way to do that will be seeing what numbers we actually have in the middle already so the four can we do anything with the fours no that's not good enough how about the twos what do we know with the twos that's not good enough how about the eights that's done already. How about the sevens? Um, no, that's not going to finish it off. How about the threes? That's going to help us. Okay, so what do we know about three? Three blocks up here and three blocks across here, excuse me. And the three across here. So the three will be in that square. Then the three down here, across here, and up here. That gives us a three in that square. I'm getting a message. Mouse battery is low. Let's hope this is gonna, they're going to survive this video. Go away. I have to change them before I start work, though. Uh, what's the time? Okay, just about got enough time to finish this. Now, we've got one number missing across here, and that missing number will be two, or is two, I should say. Two blocks down here, and two blocks across here. So here's the two. One number to get in this row. Uh, what are you? Are you a six? I think you are. Okay, then six blocking up here and six blocking across here puts a six into that square. The missing number here is a one. Um, where are we now? What's missing? Okay, so what do we have? Ones, can we get twos are done? Four now? No, it's still the same. Six up here six down here so that's our six and uh, there are two numbers missing in this column the missing numbers are one and four now this one or this one block this square of being blocked by two separate ones so we know that the one is down here and then we can say the four will finish here so this four also blocks down here it's giving us the four in that square the last number here is a five Five blocking up here and five across here puts a five into that square. The last number to get here is a seven. Seven blocking up here gives us a seven in that square. The last number here is a nine. A nine, excuse me, I hit the wrong key. Nine blocks down here. That can't be a nine. That must be a nine. And one finishes. My apologies for whizzing through that, but I really had no choice because uh, I've got to get on and uh, have a hot shower to warm up and get ready for work. Bye bye.